it actually was a dream come true. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. And Coach Lantman, who was the previous coach, uh, just had too much on his plate. So he felt like that he could give up basketball compared to the other sports he was coaching. And I just went in for the interview and hoped for the best. And here I am. We had actually had 26 girls try out. We have 12 on JV and 13 on varsity. I think because I'm invested in not only the school, but in the town itself. I'm from Snow Hill. Um, I live in Snow Hill. I know a lot of people and the people already know who I am. I'm also a volunteer coach at the recreation department. I've been doing that for over 15 years. So they kind of know my coaching style and how I, um, you know, relate to the players. So I think that played a part in having a lot of girls try out for the team this year. Well, I just felt like we've been coming in and start fresh and have a new season. I knew with her coming in here, we had been playing with her over the summer leagues. And then last year, her being a coach, we worked with her. I just felt like we were going to have a better season. We have a running team and I just feel like we can play with anybody. We we were we weren't as good as we should have been. Uh, was not giving up. We we did good. We're doing good. She brings a whole lot of potential. She she's always positive and and pushing us to do more. And she sees in us what we don't see in ourselves. The uh, Bennett game was a big one for us to bond together more as a team and start over fresh with another chance. To don't ever give up and we can do all things. I just wanted to instill into my players that hard work can beat any team on any given day when the talent doesn't work hard. So if they go out there and they hustle and they go after every single ball, every single pass, that they will be more successful than those teams who are stacked with talent.